The bindery started in 1976, which is the, the same year I finished my apprenticeship. And I was actually apprenticed as a, a forwarder, which is the guy that takes the, the book after the sewing stage, takes it right through to the stage where it needs to be finished in gold. The, the idea behind the bindery at that stage was to do restoration work and bind bindings, limited editions. But quite early on in the business, we were asked to make a false book for somebody. And our reputation sort of grew over the next few years of making false books. The Clever case came into play, really. As soon as I saw the Kindle, it was a match made in heaven. It was a perfect blend of old technology meets new. And it was, it was a perfect partner for, for making a, a, a case. I can remember going to a shop with my wife and just jotting down a design on a piece of paper. Came back the next week and it was made within a couple of days. I gave that to Chris, my son-in-law, for Christmas and we both saw the potential in that immediately. So I got involved from that point onwards um, and we tried to modernise the look and feel of the books. We started to look at different classic titles and covers that people would be interested in from our existing product range and to try and make them a little bit more modern. The evolution of Clever Case uh, has almost been rapid. We've, we've gone from the original case that my father-in-law made for me for Christmas two years ago, um, being quite crude and raw, um, to our final piece, which I think draws in all of the qualities and the skills and the precision and the, the learning that we've, we've made over the last couple of years. Uh, and, and really created our, our finest product yet. Uh, it has a pure, perfect page edging, which is gold finished. So it looks like its original antique book. And this one is made for the Kindle Paperwhite. Um, the holder is also all made and designed in-house and it's lightweight and durable and fits perfectly in with our existing cover technology. So the Paperwhite just simply slots in under the top and pushes into the dense foam and you can just push it there at the bottom and it goes under the lip and that gives you a completely secure finish and then once it's closed nobody would ever know that you've got your Kindle inside. All of the materials are locally sourced in England close to our workshops. We employ local people and everyone at the bindery loves books and I think that comes through in the product. You can see every stage, um, the, the best of uh, materials are used. All the techniques we use are, are used in such a way that it not only looks good, but it, it actually functions, it works properly. We're a true family business. We care greatly about our product and we want that to come across when the customer receives their clever case in the post. So all of that history and that passion for books and those techniques and all of that precision goes into that final product that we send out to our customers and we hope that they appreciate that when they receive it. Working alongside my wife and my mother-in-law and my father-in-law gives me an added motivation to take it forward and I think that that involvement and that love that we all put into work comes out in the product and that's something that makes me really proud.